Hello, ladies and gentlemen. The Catalan Regional Parliament has voted to declare independence from Spain, just as the Spanish government appears set to impose direct rule. Now, the move was backed 70 to 10 in a ballot boycotted by opposition MPs. Now, Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy earlier told senators direct rule was needed to return law, democracy, and stability to Catalonia. The crisis began when Catalans backed independence in a disputed vote earlier this month. Now, the Catalan government said that of the 43% who took part in the referendum, 90% were in favor of independence. But Spain's constitutional court has ruled the vote illegal. Now, Spain's Senate is still to vote on whether for for the first time to enact Article 155 of the Spanish Constitution, which empowers the government to take all measures necessary to compel a regional, a region, excuse me, in case of crisis. It would enable Madrid to fire cattle and leaders and take control of the region's finances, police, and public media. And if they were to enact Article 155, folks, I could picture some manner of I don't know. Uh, I could picture bloodshed. I could picture some manner of uh, martial law, uh, military rule. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. I, I am glad that the that the Catalans have uh, stood up and claimed this freedom from uh, Spain. I mean, I have no problem with Spain. Don't get me wrong. I'm just uh, this this nation wanted to be free, and uh, just like. Uh, America wanted to be free. The, the, the colonies wanted to be free from Great Britain hundreds of years ago. Anyway, folks, I don't know if that was a good analogy, but it's all I could come up with. I'll leave you a link to this. Uh, this is certainly an interesting story to keep an eye on. And when it comes to links, I'd ask you please to check out the link to my recently released, my latest book. It's called Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. The Kindle is only $1.99. The Kindle Unlimited program, if you sign up for that, you can read it for free. The paperback is $7.99. Folks, this is fiction that the deep state would not want you reading. Now, a fog of deception has settled over the amber waves of grain. This is gritty, edgy, End times Christian fiction. This is not fluffy. You may be turned off by Christian fiction. This is not fluffy. This is something you need to read. This is so much about what is going on right now, what you see and what you don't see going on. Uh, this is definitely, as I said, gritty and edgy. Um, give it a read, folks. Uh, some of what you see in this book you may actually see happening in real life. There's also a link to read Chapter 1 for free. That's called Fake News, where you meet one of my primary characters, Dave Jamison. He's an independent news reporter. If you're into indie news and YouTube, this is a story for you, folks. Also, there's a link to some of my music down there as well. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led. And most importantly, folks, as you know, these are increasingly treacherous times within the maelstrom that we live. But do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I'll see you soon.